everyone's Jackal Wolf back in Sky Factory 3 with another five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, this episode, we are going to work on wire wirelessly transferring items uh, into our refined storage uh, system. Uh, now, as you can see, I've got like just an absolute ton of chests uh, all around my world uh, from a number of different uh, sources. Uh, I want to get all of those uh, sending items automatically into my uh, refined storage. Uh, as you can see, we've got quite a bit of space right now, uh, and it's certainly uh, something I can improve on later. Uh, but uh, to do that, we're going to need a couple of items. Uh, first off, we're going to need a network transmitter uh, that is going to be three ender pearls on the top, uh, one construction core, one destruction core, one machine casing, and three advanced processors. Uh, after that, we are going to need a network receiver. Now, this is uh, the exact opposite of the network transmitter in that we have the three ender pearls on the bottom, the construction core, the de destruction core, the machine casing, and three advanced processors. Uh, as well, we're going to need a bunch of cable. Uh, this is how we're going to move the items uh, from whatever storage container they're in uh, into our, uh, I guess, mobile refined storage system. Uh, to build cables, you're going to need six quartz enriched iron, two glass, and one redstone. Now that's going to get you 12, which uh, for this uh, episode is uh, more than enough for what we are doing. Uh, as well, we're going to need an importer. Now, uh, there's an exporter as well. We'll get to that in a future episode. But for now, we need this importer to move items from whatever container into the pipes into the system. Uh, to get the importer, we are going to need one cable, one improved processor, and a de destruction core. I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that. Uh, we're also going to need a way to access our refined storage remotely. Uh, to do that, we're going to need another crafting grid. Uh, now, you can get away with just a regular grid, uh, but because I want this to be sort of remote access uh, for my crafting system, uh, I'm going to just upgrade it automatically to a crafting grid. Uh, so to get this, you're going to need just a regular grid, a crafting table, and an advanced processor. Now, we've got... Uh, one more thing we got to build. Oop, ended up throwing that. Uh, we're also going to need a network card. Now, one thing you got to pay attention to is there are a couple of different ones uh, out there in uh, Sky Factory 3. We need the one that is focused for refined storage. Now, that's, that is going to be a quartz enriched iron, or sorry, six quartz enriched iron, an advanced processor, and two paper. Now, we're going to run over here really quickly. Uh, now, I've decided, uh, at least for demonstrations purposes, I'm going to set up my remote uh, station here uh, because I want to start moving some of this wheat into my refined storage because, uh, as you can see, my chest here is full, uh, my field is full, it is not working, uh, plus I've been using this wheat mainly uh, in my uh, passive mob dropper, and so in an upcoming episode, I'm going to start remotely uh, pulling items from my uh, refined storage system and placing them into the uh, feeders which will help breed the animals and then I won't have to go uh, fill them up manually. So uh, to start we're going to put down our network receiver. Um, we're going to put our crafting table on top of that. Now what we want to do is we want to prime this network card. Uh, so right now if you if we look at it, just go sort of right click on it, nothing's happening. Uh, we want to right click on that network receiver. Now this has basically programmed this card uh, to this location. So we're just going to run back over here, uh, slowly running out of time, but um, it's not like these things are regular or five minutes on a regular basis anyways. Uh, now we're going to take this network transmitter, we're going to put it onto our refine system, we've got to shift place its lights up you can tell it's powered we're going to open it up and see here it's missing a network card uh, now this network card you can see is linked to minus 116 58 249 we're going to put that in there that is going to not only supply power to our remote station but is going to supply access uh, to the items in our in that remote station uh, so here we go. Here is our uh, crafting grid. Uh, you open it up and we got the exact same uh, access to inventory as we had previously. Um, 
Now, like I said, I want to start importing these items in here. I'm actually going to take just a half a stack out of here. We're going to throw down an importer. So shift click. You see that's automatically connected to our system here. Uh, we're going to open that up. You can see it's slowly pulling stuff out and it's filling it up at the same time. Uh, and this is all going right into our crafting grid. Uh, so this is going to start filling up really, really quickly. Uh, eventually I'm going to have to set up a system that is going to uh, basically limit the number of items I have in here. Uh, but for now, because I have quite so much space over on the other side, I'm not going to worry about that uh, right at this moment, but uh, that is it for this one, guys. That is remote access and wireless at item transfers. Uh, this has been my five minutes. That's how I did it. Uh, you can keep up uh, with uh, other five minutes uh, on my YouTube channel as well as uh, on Twitter at, at Jackal Wolf. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.